Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get the Pixel's new Google Assistant working on other Android devices. Okay, so let me give you the requirements for this one. First, you'll need to be running Android 7.0 or higher to use this method, and second, you'll need to be rooted. But if you're running Marshmallow, there may be another way to get this going using Exposed, and you can read more about that at the full tutorial. But back to the first method, really all you need is a root enabled file browser because all it takes is a couple build.prop edits. So to start, navigate to the system folder on the root partition of your device. From here, make sure to mount it as read write so that you can alter the files. Next up, long press the build.prop file, then head to the context menu in your file browser and select open with text editor. Now somewhere towards the top of this list, you should find a line that starts with RO product model. So scroll through until you see that one. Once you do, place your cursor at the end of this line and delete everything after the equals sign. After that, type in pixel space XL with a capital P and XL in all caps as well. But make sure there isn't a space between the equals sign and the first letter because I know some keyboards like to do that. Once you've taken care of that, scroll down to the bottom of the list and hit enter to add a new line. From here, type in ro.opa dot eligible underscore device equals true. I'll give you a second to look at that, but basically it's just telling the Google app that your device is eligible to use Google Assistant. So with those two lines all fixed up now, make sure to save the changes you made to your build.prop file. When you're done there, go ahead and reboot your phone. Now when you get back up, long pressing your home button will probably still not trigger Google Assistant. So to fix that, head to the apps menu in settings, then select the Google app from the list. Next, select Storage, then hit Manage Space on the following screen. From here, select Clear All Data, then confirm your choice on the pop-up. When you're done there, you'll be ready to try out the Google Assistant. This would otherwise be exclusive to Google's Pixel phones for at least a couple of months. But now, all you have to do is long press your home button to try it out. At first, you'll have to run through initial setup and train the OK Google Voice model. So let me take care of that. Once it's ready, you can just trigger the assistant and it starts listening automatically. It's really conversational, so you can ask questions back and forth and Google's AI will even tell you jokes and stuff like that. But hey, for the full breakdown, including instructions to try if you're running Marshmallow, be sure to check out my article on GadgetHacks.com. As always though, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.